Bros, welcome to another Nintendo Smash video. This is a special video on the Astro Spire 3000. I've uh, patched it up and it uh, works fine now. But uh, there's something I gotta show you. Just wait for it. Just one more bit. There we go. I installed Windows Server 2003 on this laptop. It's the Dutch version and it serves back too. So that's great. So let's wait for it to boot up. I mean, I first had Windows 7 on this and it for some reason was very buggy and it crashed. So it's kind of a it's kind of a bitch, but you know. And then I put Windows Vista on it. Ran just fine until I came up with the idea to install Windows Server 2003 on it. Enterprise Edition. Right, it's clear states that Windows is being started up. Now all we have to do is wait f to reach the login screen. There we go. Press Ctrl Alt Delete. Hold on. Go administrator. Yes, I don't have passwords on my computers because I simply don't need them. I mean, why use passwords? I've had, I haven't got anything to hide, so look, it's not like I have like a terabyte of porn on my computers, but whatever. Only ten gigabytes. <laughs> not joking. <laughs> whatever. So. I've enabled the theme service so I could get the Luna theme. I've added all the stuff, like all the options in advanced windows so controls to just get the drop shadows on the desktop. Right, let's get the start. It's Acer Grid Vista. Let's get to my computer and uh, there we go. I know that's impossible to read because the screen is very bright at the moment. Well, my camera, and my camera won't focus at all. Hold on there. Oh well, it's not readable anyway. But I don't really care. Computer, AMD Trion 64 mobile technology ML34. Clock speed, 1.8 gigahertz. With 992 megabytes of RAM. I've just been kicked on Ventrilo on my main computer. There we go. Yeah, I'm waiting for Call of Duty Black Ops to come out. I really love that. So there we go, search back 2. Whatever. Here, yeah. This is where I've changed for the best appearance. Luckily I can translate this all directly to English because it's all in Dutch. So I've also installed all the default Acer stuff. So like display device security boot options. Yeah I can even configure BIOS settings just within Windows. Like fan always enabled. Hold on, I'm just gonna darken the screen up a bit. Should improve readability of the screen by quite a big margin. I can change the boot sequence and the power on options. I can enable on. I can enable fast boot, auto dim, and fan always enabled. <coughs> Sorry about that. Sweet. And we've got Acer Arcade and Grid Vista. I'll just show you what Grid Vista does. I'll just open some windows. We'll still have to install Office though. Let me zoom out again. Let's see, for instance, Adobe Reader 9, Mozilla Firefox, and my documents. Let's see, display one. So now here on the top there is this appears. So now I can set the window to so I'm gonna put that to 1.3. Let 
gonna accept the license terms for Firefox. Oh, look at that, I mean, Dog Reader. Man, I fail. Then, I won't make it transparent. And I will put this to 1.2. Firefox doesn't like this option, I think. Oh, there we go. I can set this to 1.1. There we go. This is what Acer Grid Vista does. It's basically an early version of, uh, let's say, AeroSnap on Windows 7. But in fact, this is way easier to use. You can also set it to transparent. Yeah, that means you can look through the window all the way to the, to the background. But my background is gray, so it won't light up as much. Also make this transparent. If you look very clear, there, there you go. You can see Windows Server 2003 through there. Well done, Acer. Kudos to you all. You can also lock it to a grid and whatnot. And Firefox doesn't seem to like it too much, but hell, I don't care. Hold on for a second, it's too dark for me to read now. It dimmed a bit too much for my liking. We've got Acer Arcade. This is all Acer software designed for Windows XP, but works fine in Server 2003. Well, it's quite, uh, well, that's not so odd. So we can go to settings. can change that, I want that. Virtual surround, yes. And of course I want widescreen. Then I can just exit out. Administrator. I can minimize I can minimize it, I can go back to my PC. There we go. And it's, there we go. Very good software from Acer, it all works fine. I've even got the launch manager, which will which does this when I press the wireless switch here it says in Dutch that wireless LAN is disabled and then allowed I don't know why they went with allowed but whatever I'll just translate it for you guys because you don't understand Dutch I'm quite sure so yeah that's basically it I'm gonna do a next round of Acer Aspire 3000 gaming, uh, like the 3D performance. Uh, I'm gonna run a, I'm gonna run a benchmarking program. And I'm gonna show you some games. So yeah, just stay tuned for some more stuff, and uh, I think I've got some uh, other stuff coming up anywhere uh, this year. I can't say when because, well, as soon as November 9th uh, comes near. I will uh, be playing a Call of Duty Black Ops, and therefore not really recording stuff. So, whatever. I thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.